Hi everyone, today I have season four Rainbow High Jewel Ritchie to open for us. And I found her in my local B&M. She was $31.99, but because the label on the shelf said $29.99, I got her for $29.99. So yes, um, after my friend Jamie messaged me on Instagram and told me that B&M had got them in stock, I then told all my Dolly friends and uh, yeah, we've been, uh, some of us have been able to get some. I don't, yeah, I think Dale's got one, Kim's got one. I'm not sure whether Kirsty's been and had a look yet, but yeah, Jewel Ritchie is the Rainbow High girl who has got a vitiligo, which is brilliant. I'm um, excited to open her up. This is the other one I want. Can't remember what her name is, but she's the one that I want as well. And I do quite like the one that's got a plaster on a hooter, this one here. <laughs> so there's a picture on the back of the box. Um, does it say what her focus is? Fashion design focus, it says for Jewel. So let's get her opened up and have a look at her second outfit. It says YouTube on the box there, rainbow high. Let your true colors shine. So let's open her up. These boxes aren't cardboard though, they're like a plasticky material. They don't they don't feel like cardboard, they're like coated in something. So not easily recyclable is the is the problem. So you can cut the tape and open up the back of the box and you can take out your doll and your accessories. So you could reuse the box if you wanted to. So we have her stand attached to the back of her accessories. So she's got a green, like a dark green, emeraldy green stand there with just the one waist clip. Also shows you how to put on her shoes. She's got like a ribbon with her shoes by the look of it. And then these boxes are different to some of the others we've seen before. You can open them up like so and pull out the inside cardboard bit like that. That shows her second pair of shoes. So they're like strappy sandals with a clear bit that goes over the toe. And they've got like a little stud detail around them with a black heel. So these are in a little box and you can reuse them. You can pop them back in the box like so. The same, I think, with the second outfit. Got a mirror effect on the back of the box, so cut the tape. And then you can pull out the inner box and we can have a look at her second outfit. So she's got this like snake skin effect skirt with black netting on the sides. It's like a cutout with black netting on each side. It's got a lace up detail on the front there. It looks lace up. She's got a little bustier, which is um, in pleather. A short bustier in pleather. I think it would have a velcro fastening and then we've got like a leather leather look jacket with zip detailing on the sleeves gold studs down the sleeves with squares rectangles circles and then it's got a very thick emerald green collar on it really nice and it's also got a faux zip down the front she has a comb to match her stand which is the glittery green emerald colour. So 
So here she is, I've released her from her packaging. She's got lovely long curly hair, but it's really stiff, especially at the sides here. I think if I uh, move that, it would snap. You can see it's really, really stiff. The same on the other side, but the bit in the middle is actually soft, nice and soft. She's got two little plaits on the top there that are brought together into an uh, half up, half down. She has on little, well, they're not little, they're huge, what look like emerald earrings with a huge teardrop and little white, what could be pearls around the outside. Same on this one. The earrings have got like little, um, this one has got some of the white, it's misprinted at the bottom. I mean, I'm not bothered, but she has baby hairs around the edge of her face, which are molded and painted. She has the vitiligo in her eyebrow, under her eye, same on the other side, under her eye. Beautiful green eyes. I love her lip colour. She does have one or two like little bits that are not quite right. Little faults with her, but it's nothing serious. She has on a choker, which has an, like an emerald a rectangular emerald and then a like what looks like a pearl underneath that she has the vitiligo on her chest area she's got a this is a let's get this off her it's like a stole a fur stole she reminds me very much of nephra denial from Monster High, the colours of her, the fact that she's got gold jewellery on as well. Nephra's colours are this emeraldy colour and gold. So her stole does have elastic elastics on it, which can hold it on her arms. So you can take that off if you want to like so it's a, a very dark emerald green then she has on this sequin dress which is a high low dress it's high at the top low at the back it's got little slits on the waist there and it's got like a gold chain detail on the spaghetti straps it velcros in the back i'm going to take it off because i'm going to put her second outfit on her I say that I can't get it off it's well and truly welded onto it. it's very tight across her bottom wow that really is tight across her bottom I'm struggling to get that off her wow come on here jewel get let us have your dress off it's so tight, I'm struggling to get it off. Yeah, it could have done with a bit more Velcro in the back, I think. I don't like how tight that is because Marna has warned us that it can damage the hips. Oh, I've got it off her. You can see that she's got the vitiligo on her back, down both arms, on her hands, on her knees, her ankles, on the back of her legs. She's got a scratch on her underwear there, quite a nasty scratch that is. You can see her fingernails. They're not talons, they're quite short green, emerald green nails. beautiful doll yeah that's a bit look how bad that scratches on her underwear it's pretty bad isn't it and then she's got these shoes on which tie up with a ribbon I'm actually going to leave those shoes on her I think so there are the sandal one's got an R on it and one's got a H on it and then they tie up 
the ribbon goes across the front and then ties up around the ankle. I think to get the jacket on, I'm gonna have to take her hands off. Don't want to lose her bracelets though, so pop those to one side. The skirt does have a little bit of Velcro in the back at the top. Let's hope it fits on better than the dress did. It does have a little uh, piece of ribbon in between to hold it in place. Oh yeah, that does go on a lot easier than the dress did. She's almost flashing her possibilities, but we'll let her off. She does have her scratched knickers on after all. Then we'll pop on her dress. Yeah, that fits nicely and goes on easily as well. And then we'll put the jacket on her. Love the jacket. I love anything. I love anything that's really over the top. Um, I'd wear it if I wasn't such an old fogey. Yeah. <laughs> I would have worn it when I was younger. I think I'm one of those people that people look at me and think I got dressed in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> I just about, I get to, yeah, I like all the bright colours and things like that and they don't always suit me to be honest. Hee <laughs> hee, never mind, I can dress my dollies in all the bright colours because they do suit them. So let's put our hands back on. So she has two bracelets on one side. and three on the other and they're all gold green and white yeah very much giving me nephra denial vibes they are wow i love that on a look at that doesn't she look gorgeous I love that. <laughs> so that is my Jewel Ritchie. Rainbow High Season 4 Jewel Ritchie, the Vitilago doll. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.